So just a little bit of background here, um, why nonprofits should have volunteers. Um, obviously it sounds great, free work, but what are the real reasons that we want to you know, engage volunteers? Um, volunteers kind of do three basic things. They build organizational strength. Um, when a volunteer becomes visible for a visible advocate for a nonprofit, they can help show donors and supporters the value of the work we do. Um, having lots of different volunteers engaged just gives more power to the organization. Um, volunteers have a really unique credibility. If the staff here advocate for Architecture for Humanity, of course, it's our job. It's what we do 24-7. You know, We're thinking about it all the time. But when somebody who's not getting paid to be here says, this is where I want to work, this is where I want to spend my time, and this is what I'm passionate about, that gives a really great credibility um, to an organization. Also, volunteers extend um, the resources of an organization. Most of the work our volunteers are doing are things that would not get done otherwise. It's not that they're just coming along and helping out on stuff that's already being done. It's that we make more things happen with the use of our volunteers. Specifically for Architecture for Humanity, we use skills-based volunteers. Um, a lot of national studies have shown that the majority of volunteers perform service activities that are not in their skill set. We've all probably done that. We've gone and you know helped hammer nails on a house, and maybe we don't have a construction background, or we help at an inner city daycare. We don't necessarily have child um, education in our background. But that's all really, really valuable, but even more valuable is engaging volunteers in the area that they would otherwise be getting paid. So it's their occupation, like Doctors Without Borders, Architecture for Humanity does that too, and that's really unique and very special and valuable. Um, so on the flip side, what does a volunteer receive for um, their, their time? Of course, they get a sense of giving back. I think everybody in general usually feels good if they can give back. They know they're making a little bit of a difference. But also, um, it allows a volunteer to express valuable values and activities and projects that are really meaningful. It allows them to be a part of something special. It increases their knowledge and helps them learn new skills through the networking that happens here. Um, it also gives them an insider's knowledge. I think a lot of people fall in love with what Architecture for Humanity does because they see the buildings, they see the people it affects, but it's a really cool thing to come here and watch what how the process works, what step A is, what step Z is, and see that whole part. And so that's a really unique thing that volunteers get access to. Um, it also, of course, enhances um, a career, and you, the volunteers can gain perspective by building relationships with new contacts. You know, knowing people here can help them start their careers out in other places. Just some guidelines that I'll just talk about really briefly from my experience um, of kind of working with volunteers, and even the volunteers that are here, Obviously, you're going to work with volunteers in the future, you probably have in the past. So just other, some things to keep in mind. Um, but it's really important to, especially with skills-based volunteers, to match the job to the volunteer. You don't want to bring a volunteer in and have them do something that they're not interested in, that they're not good at, that, they're, you know, that they just don't, aren't passionate about. You want to match it to what they want to learn and, and what they're excited to do. Um, clearly define your expectations. These aren't, we don't need to hold the hands of our volunteers here, but we do need to communicate with them and explain what we want out of them, what our deliverables are, um, how they're going to be expected to be engaged in different things, um, and just to have that conversation with them. Also, to provide appropriate training and information. Um, again, as all of our volunteers know, like the, our volunteers are not average. They're well above average. They come with great credentials phenomenal experiences um, and unique perspectives on things, but you still want to make sure that they understand what they're going to be doing and get the training that they need up front so that they're not stuck waiting on us to, to get the correct tools to get the job done. And again with that, you know, make sure that you follow up with them. Almost all of our volunteers act pretty independently, but just touch base with them, make sure that you're getting some feedback and answer questions and make sure that you're affirming the work that they're doing so they know to move on. And most importantly, can never thank and recognize volunteers enough, whether it's just a casual thank you when you see them in the hall or you know, just being really appreciative when they do leave us.